and it's slowing down. Uh, the atmosphere is really doing a lot of the work in conjunction with that heat shield to dispel that velocity that is, results in heat, and that is why we have this plasma building up on the exterior of the, of the spacecraft. Um, It'll slow down to about 350 miles per hour, thanks to, <laughs> to really thanks to the heat shield and the atmosphere. Um, and so, uh, at that point, we'll we'll deploy the drogue parachutes. Um, but during reentry, uh, um, the top temperature that Dragon experiences will be about 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty warm on the outside, but um, there is cool nitrox air being flowed through the suits um, that each crew member is wearing. So uh, we ensure that they remain comfortable during this uh, brief journey uh, through the atmosphere. Now, while we await AOS or acquisition of signal, let's go through a brief recap of today's events. Hatch closure took, took place at 2.29 p.m. Central Time after all four crew members floated into Dragon for their ride home. They took time to configure the spacecraft cabin, put on their suits, and get seated ahead of undocking, which occurred at 4.20 p.m. Central. Dragon's departure burns helped move it out of the keep-out sphere and approach ellipsoid, which are both invisible boundaries we monitor around the space station. Since then, we completed the deorbit burn at 151. Yeah. Oh, and you're getting your first views of reentry. This is live, uh, and if you're in California, you can go see this with your own eyes. This is Crew 11 reentering after 167 days in space. Again, we are in a loss of signal period. This is a tracked period as. As the spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, we anticipate regaining signal with Crew-11 momentarily, and when the spacecraft reaches an altitude of 18,000 feet above Earth, two drogue chutes will deploy to slow it down ahead of the four main parachutes deploying at 6,000 feet in altitude. Now, splashdown will be the milestone we will see after that, which is expected for 2.41 a.m. Central Time. So again, we're standing by for acquisition of signal and continued communication with Crew 11, expecting that just a few minutes from now. Dragon SpaceX, comm check. SpaceX Dragon, loud and clear. We have you the same, loud and clear. Expect automated shoot deployment. Copy, automated shoot deploy expected.
All right, so there we heard that uh, we had confirmation of that acquisition of Signal or AOS. It actually came in a minute early, uh, so that's good news there. Uh, we heard the core inform the crew to expect uh, drogue parachute deployment that happens when Dragon senses um, the right speed and altitude. Uh, so that's roughly about 350 miles per hour and around 18,000 feet in altitude. There we have a view from... GPS converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue chute deploy. Dragon copies. Expecting nominal altitude. So we'll have that drogue deploy in about a minute from now, but we have our uh, first views from the WB-57. This is a high altitude uh, tracking plane that is providing these thermal uh, signatures via infrared. Um, this is really cool to see here as we continue to track Dragon on its way back to planet Earth. So momentarily, we expect for visual and... Uh, Brace for drogue window. Great brace. Dragon has saved the propulsion system as we anticipate drogue deployment uh, any moment now. Drogue parachutes are utilized to stabilize and decelerate the vehicle further prior to deployment of the main parachutes. Drogue should be deploying here in a couple seconds and mains will follow in about one minute. There we have visual confirmation of drogue deploy. Visual, two healthy drogues. <laughs> kind of a cool Dragon shot. Copies. I think we had the recovery vessel in the background there just momentarily. Main parachutes deploying in about 20 seconds. The main parachutes deploy when the vehicle is about 119 miles per hour um, and around 6,000 feet. There we can see visual confirmation of deployment of the four visual, mains. Visual, four healthy mains. These main parachutes help decelerate the spacecraft even further. So they deploy around 119 miles per hour and help, they'll decelerate it down to about 15, 16 miles per hour. And that will be the, the speed in which the, the spacecraft is traveling upon splashdown. Once again, we're anticipating splashdown at 12.41 a.m. Meters. Copy, 1,000. We'll now begin to hear uh, Crew 11 Commander Zena Cardman call out uh, the altitude from her seat there in Dragon Endeavor. SpaceX's mission control team in Hawthorne uh, continues to report the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. 